So um, the Nigerian basketball, the male national team, we've had uh, two um, opportunities to attend the Olympic Games and uh, it seems uh, on the two occasions we've not made it out of the preliminary stage and winning only one game each and I mean at, at every opportunity. So what do you think can be done to make us proceed to the next round and also give us the ability to compete effectively with, with the great with the top teams in the world? Um, you know, first of all, this, the notion that we didn't do well, you know, like or we uh, improving to the sec uh, to the to the next round, to me, I think is um, is harsh a little bit because um, we've attended the last two Olympics and we've won the la last African Championships. You know, like that that is success. You know, like in my opinion, you know, like yeah, yeah, moving forward. And yes, um, you 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 have to want more. But when you look back at it, you know, um, we were in London in the Olympics, you know, like, and we were in Rio, and we won the African Championships, you know, and there's presence. People are talking, talk, talked about Nigerian basketball, so uh, I think the work on the basketball part is getting better. There's no question about it. You know, Ayo Bakari did a great job, and Will Void has done a great job. Yeah, I think the Federation have done okay in terms of uh, the basketball part. In terms of the organizational part, um, they struggle, they continue to struggle and whether it's um, um, the organization of facilities, whether it's organizing um, uh, the, the preparation uh, and the approach we have, um, right after the Olympics is over now, uh, everybody's going to forget basketball and the national team and nobody's going to remember it and mm -hmm. nobody's going to yes. talk about it for the next two years because there's going to be nothing but maybe the African Championship next year. Um, how do we set a program up where we are, we are you know, always uh, consistently um, uh, in action, you know, where um, we have activities, we are keeping up on our players, we need those things. And then uh, facilities is a big issue in this, in this place, you know, where are we playing, you know, like and what platform are we setting up for the youth? So before we even talk about performances and going to the next round um, we have to build a base you know and uh, but in all honesty you know like I don't see it as doomsday because um, there is something to build upon you know there is um, a great platform to build upon because you can look at it and say hey there's been some success we've gone to the Olympics we've won the African Championships um, uh, how can we continue to build um, and uh, uh, once we figure out a way to organize a program and build uh, a program, build a culture, I think we'll be fine. Okay, you, you made mention that uh, we've gotten better in the last two Olympics. Uh, so would you say the same thing for what we call the, or the basketball on the home front, that's local basketball? Because some people have been up. Back in your days when you play, you know, you talked about the fact that, okay, they brought in some people, some uh, athletes from outside the country to mix with the, the ones from, uh, from within Nigeria. But the last Olympics, the case wasn't so, and a lot of people actually criticized the, the move. So what do you say, is that a reflection that the basketball of the front is actually very poor? Or do you think we've gotten better? We have to get better, you know, like to me, when people criticize, you know, like who is on the team at their home base, that I, I, the only thing I look at is, are you Nigerian and do you show the passion to play for your country? You know, whether you were born here or born, born anywhere, if you show a passion for your country, you know, like then uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very fine with it. Uh, but in terms of locally and our league, uh, we need to build, we need to build um, infrastructure here, we need to build a league here that produces and when it produces nobody is going to ignore the talent here not at all if there are point guards or centers or forwards here that will affect the championship team or affect us getting uh, um, uh, to the next level in sports coaches are going to look at that you know um, and uh, so we have to improve our league here there's no question about it it's something that we have to build and um, I think we have the personnel, I think we have the people, we have the people on the ground and we have the people in diaspora. On the final notes, I would call it a day. Uh, since you've been the general manager of Toronto Raptors, the team has made a great success appearing in the playoffs and making great strides with top teams in the Eastern Conference. Uh, what would you say is responsible for, I mean, 
would, would you attribute to your success with the team? Is it the fact that the players now, players of American descent, they are they are buying into the Canadian culture, they love the culture, or is it the fact that the Toronto Raptors can guarantee them great contracts? Um, you you build a culture. You honestly try to build a culture. In this day, sports is about the players, and they've put us in position. It has nothing to do with what I do, or um, I can only put them on a platform and try and uh, organize. And um, plenty of prayers from all the people in Africa and uh, around the world. There's some luck, you know. And um, uh, humbly, I feel that. Um, uh, you you really have to put people in in a place to succeed and um, as a president or general manager I'm, I'm be a behind the scenes person and uh, it's all about the players they give you uh, that edge they give you that talent they give you um, the means to to win you know and uh, I want to win uh, I want to win and and uh, hopefully um, we, we can put something together that uh, one day uh, leads to a championship. Okay, let me put you on the spot and uh, let me put you on the spot for, the, for, for this. Uh, do you think we'll be seeing Vince Carter in a Raptors uniform before he calls his career, before he calls it, I mean, quits with his career? Uh, he's been a great player all his, uh, uh, all his life, you know, like I, I uh, he doesn't necessarily have to do anything, you know, like to me to be seen uh, as a Toronto great. Yeah, uh, I think uh, Vince has been unbelievable. He um, he got us to where we are, you know. Like, and we recognize that at all levels. So, uh, for me, it's not ne it. It doesn't mean whether he plays or doesn't play for the Raptors or ends or not. You know, the guy is a legend. You know, like, and he got us to where we are, and, and we're absolutely proud about that. And we will always honor it. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Masawa Jerry. We appreciate your time. Thank you. All right. Thank you.